What is going on guys, this is Ben here, bringing you another Clash Royale new video, and in today's video I'm going to open up some chests quick though, because I haven't been on this account in a while. And like I said guys, every time I play this account I'm going to be recording it, so you guys literally see progression from my beginning to my end. Um, I have a bunch of new videos out already if you want to check them out, and I can get some upgrades up in here. Let's open our other chest first, the knight, the archers, the spear goblins, okay. So I can upgrade these, that's going to help out a ton because the goblins are so strong, they stop the princes um, and like the spear goblins can just swarm and everything and even the goblins are good for stopping the P.E.K.K.A.s, goblins are good at taking out the giants, they're good for everything. But today we're going to be focusing on the baby dragon here. This is my current deck right now, uh, if you don't have the prince maybe swap it with the knight for now if, you, like, if you're or this early on in the game and you're wondering. Um, or if you don't have the P.E.K.K.A., swap it for the Knight. Um, if you don't have one of these two cards, that's really unfortunate, but... Okay, we're gonna get into it, some attacks here. Basically, the strategy is Bomber clears, wave stuff, um, and then the Baby Dragon just goes OP. Is just like, pretty much just goes ham because it's OP. Okay, let's get into it. And then we have the Prince to back up, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We're going up against Watson here. Same level, so good matchup. Um, let's see what he wants to do. I'm currently still undefeated, but I'm testing on a new deck. We'll see how it goes. Um, so he's dropping the um, he's dropping a little double push here. Since there's this mini packer, we're gonna use our goblins to stop it. My phone is going off, and then we have the minion horde. Uh, so we're gonna drop our hard dragon because it's a splash damage thing, and then we're gonna counter push this with a mini packer as well and a giant. It's gonna be pretty hard for him to stop this, even though he does use the fireball. Um, he, if that giant goes down, it does suck. Uh, get to the tower, get a hit, get a hit, get a hit. Okay. So, unfortunately, we didn't really get to take the tower, but we did a good push there as well. He has a level 4 knight coming down the lane. I'm actually going to drop my prince here. It's okay if the knight gets some damage under the tower. I just want my prince to ramp up first and then get the hit. There we go. Um, and I'm going to follow this up with the bomber. I know he has probably some little troops. He's counter pushing with the giant. Okay, we'll drop our goblins up in here. He's going to let his tower go down. Um, and you can see our elixir advantage is probably pretty substantial at this point in time. And I'm not going to drop anything on the ground against that Valkyrie because the Valkyrie is just going to, you can see it just swish down my, uh, just destroyed my goblins there. Um, his, his tower, is home base, or his king tower is almost destroyed as well. So we'll see what my baby dragon, okay, he drops the skeleton army. Interesting play call there because the baby dragon splash. Um, so we're literally just going to drop the giant and he's not even really going to pay attention because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have much elixir right now. Um, to stop this giant and this mini pack of coming down to his king tower to wrap this one up here. Yeah, um, he uses the fireball, but that's not gonna matter. G freaking G. Got another three star, we'll take it. GG Watson, we'll hit him with a. Uh -huh. There we go. We got 30 trophies, and hey, we got our first golden chest, boys and girls. Yeah, we'll take it. So we're on the rise. And the baby dragon is just so good against it's so good early on so if you have it definitely use it because a lot of people can't really counter it uh, we're going up against lucas luke s or five lucas i don't really know we'll hit him with the thumbs up all right so we got a baby dragon right off the bat i actually don't have a counter for this so i'm going to let it hit my tower and then i'm going to drop spear goblins to take it out um that does kind of suck but i'm going to follow up with the giant and then he does drop the valkyrie We'll drop our bomber in case he drops something a little. Uh, we should get some decent damage on this tower, a lot more than he got on us. He has the bomber, but that's going to hit my giant, so that's all fine. So we counter push that pretty well. So like, I, like if you guys don't have any um, counters to the, or any hard counters to the, the dragon, let it hit your tower. Then you drop the, uh, and then you'll either drop your archers, archers on the side or the spear goblins, because it's okay if the baby dragon hits your, if it, like hits your tower. It's not going to be the end of the world if it gets like a like a spitfire or fireball shot off or anything like that. So we do have the prince incoming here. I'm going to follow it up with the... He missed his fireball, so I'm going to follow it up with a pretty big push here. I know he's pretty low on elixir, and this is a deadly push to stop here. We'll see what he has. Um, he's got his dragon incoming. I think we'll be able to end it up, or like wrap it up here. we got three things. Yeah, there's not much you can do. Um, so we'll hit him with a good game. Just a, this the little mistake there cost him a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of games there. And we got some uh, we got some stuff here, and the only gemming that I will be do oh we're in bone pit, oh my goodness. Um, we can upgrade the Valkyrie, but I don't think the Valkyrie is really good right now, so I'm not gonna be running it. I've I've better options like the bomber or something to take all the splash damage stuff. So we're up against Wygor here. 
Still undefeated, boys and girls. We're moving up the ranks. We got a hard push giant coming in. So I'm gonna drop my spear goblins and a mini P.E.K.K.A. because the mini P.E.K.K.A. is just gonna shred through the giant. He's dropping his mini P.E.K.K.A. level two, so I'm gonna drop some goblins around him just to slow it down. And then I'm gonna be dropping some uh, a big push here. So I got a dragon, some spear goblins, and my mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's see what he can stop against it. He uses a fireball that misses my mini P.E.K.K.A., thank goodness. Um, because that mini P.E.K.K.A. is just gonna go ham at that tower. And then there we go, we got the counter push in the bag. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna see what he wants to do here. See what tower he's gonna push. Okay, he's gonna... I'm gonna drop my Prince, or my Giant right here just to absorb that Prince damage, and I'll follow up with my Prince. And he gets his little run going, and I'm gonna drop the Bomber in case he has anything little to stop this. He's got Archers, so good thing the Bomber's there, because that splash damage will take them out. Um, and then this prince is just going to get to the tower and it's going to take it down as well. Uh, the prince is pretty tanky so it doesn't matter that he's getting hit right now. But right now, I, I'm, he is, I'm in such a huge elixir advantage. Uh, I'm just going to sit back and watch what he wants to do. I have the lead. I'm, I'm just let my elixir fill up, see which side he wants to put on, push on. So he's going to go on the left hand side here. I'm going to actually drop some goblins. Goblins are just amazing at stopping the mini P.E.K.K.A.s. We gotta stop the princes. They're gonna slow down a bunch of things. So we'll drop our prince. We're gonna go for our counter push here. It's okay that he dropped his prince on that side. It's gonna be GG if he doesn't stop this push. So we'll let that prince run wild. And then we got a mini P.E.K.K.A. and a prince. We'll hit him with a good game. And then we'll <laughs> Everyone's saying, oops, man. What's going on? But there we go. So you, you just gotta play the advantages, guys. Like early on, or even just in general, the prince counters. Or counters to these two, which are the two dominant cards early on for sure, is these two's right here. And then the baby dragon just supplements it all, like, because not a lot of people have a lot of stuff to stop the baby dragon. So we'll get into another match here. Hope you guys are at least learning some little tips here just from the watching the game and whatnot. I know a lot of you probably surpassed me, but I'll start be catching up to you. Because when I, I'm going to be going to Finland soon, so I'll be having some series up and ready. Um, we have a skeleton bomber up in here. And a bomb tower, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Already a bomb tower. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna stop this one. So the mini peck is gonna hurt a little bit. Uh, good thing I don't have too many splash, or like, just weak troops. So I'm gonna wait till this bomb tower actually fades out here. I'm gonna follow it up with the giant. Oh, this guy is a level four. Uh, I'm gonna use my mini peck here. Okay, the bomb tower's gone. It's fine. Uh, it doesn't look like he has too many air things. Oh god. Oh god, that's a really good, um, I'm gonna use arrows to get rid of those. That was a good, um, that was a good one there. I'll give him that one. He's probably gonna drop his bomb tower, though. I'll drop my baby dragon. Oh, witch. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you, witch. It'll take a while for our baby dragon to take it up, but our, our giant's going ham. Um, he uses the fireball on the baby dragon, that's okay. So we won, the, we won that trade there. Oh, I just gotta be ready for that bomb tower, though. That's gonna be the tricky one. And that mini pack he has. So, we'll drop these. And then we'll drop our mini pack just to take his out. And then we'll drop our prince here. Got a pretty big push incoming. Let's see what he can do about it. He's gonna push on his side. We'll drop the goblins over here to get rid of the giant. He's always playing defense, and then if he doesn't want to stop our prince and our goblins up top, he will die. He dropped his bomber right in front of that, so pretty much just got eight alive over there. So either way, Berk Beriki goes down. Um, his main downfall was using that uh using that mini Pekka, just dropping in the lane, and then we can easily counter that with minions. So we got our crown chest here. Let's see what we get. The minions, okay. The skeletons, we got a lot of things here, boys and girls. So, the minions are actually a pretty decent card. Um, I might actually... Um, not a lot of people use air defense stuff, so that's why I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that over the bomber for now. So this is my battle deck for now. Uh, the skeletons, I don't think they're really worth it right now. They're not super strong. They're good at stopping like these two. But I just think the goblins are better. They actually deal more damage. We can upgrade these archers. And we can upgrade the Valk. We'll just do it to see, try and get to our level, our level four. We're not even really close, but we'll do, 
we'll do one more battle here. We're just we're just going ham, dude. Um, hopefully we don't lose because we're still undefeated. Baby Dragon deck OP though. The air decks are strong because not a lot of people have air defenses early on, like just to counter them. So I'll let my elixir fill up. See what this guy wants to do. So he's gonna drop a Prince Giant. Um, I'm gonna slow down his Prince here and drop my minions just to help kill this Prince off. And then there we go. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty nasty push incoming. So I'll... He's got a Bomb Tower. I'm actually gonna do something... I'll let that Bomb Tower go for now. My Prince should take it out. And I'm gonna do a Mini P.E.K.K.A. Dragon Push. On this left hand side and let's see what he does so he didn't he didn't counter that he's trying to stop the prince instead so we're gonna get good damage over there i'll probably take that tower hopefully take that tower i think we will um then this witch here he's not gonna do a whole lot of damage so we're, not, we're just gonna let our elixir fill up here take out the witch it's okay that we got some tower damage it's always better to be safe than sorry and actually have have some good damages that you can do. Um, the bomber on the left hand side, I'm gonna have to drop my giant just so it doesn't hit the tower. And then we have we have dual pushes coming. I'm gonna follow up with my prince on this side because uh, if we take down the king tower, we can end the game. So we got a lot of minions coming over there. That prince is just getting distracted by my giant, so it's all good. He does drop the fireball, but I think we have enough damage to take it out. Uh, I'm gonna have to drop my mini P.E.K.K.A. It's okay that it hit the tower. Okay, so it's going to be tricky what I want to do here. Mini P.E.K.K.A. get another hit. That Prince hits his is GG. There we go. So we got the good game. He had no elixir to stop it because we had such the... We just kept letting... Like, we counter him and then we let our elixir get up and up and up and up and up. So, there we have it. We have this getting uh getting started here. I kind of want to finish this so for the next video I can upgrade, up, up, like open that, so, um, I don't know. Either way, yeah, we're going to do that for now. This is the only time you ever see me gems, so I can get that going, and then we can upgrade our knight. So, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All the gems that I do get are, like, from the game itself in this one, but we're up to 500 trophies already, man. Hope you guys are at least learning a little bit of tips. Hope you enjoyed the video, make sure you did, and don't forget to subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. Not ready, because have a wonderful night, and I'll see you guys later.